Okay, today we're going to play with Python a little bit, and we're going to be reading text files, but we're going to be reading certain lines that we tell the code to read. Um, so let's make our text file real quick here. I'll call it file.txt. I'm going to use vim to create it, and I'm going to say line, oops, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4, and line 5. I'm going to save that. And at this point, I am going to start creating our, our uh, Python script. So we're going to say, I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but as always, use whatever uh, editor you prefer. Uh, and I'll just call it code.py. As always, we always start our codes with a shebang line, letting our operating system know what in... Um, interpreter to use to uh, run this code. It's not something that's required, but uh, it, it's a pet peeve of mine. Just do it. Uh, it's so people don't have to type Python every time they want to type your code. They can just run the code and it knows that it's a Python code. So uh, let's create an object here that's going to grab the information from our file. Um, I'll call it F for file and we're going to open and we're going to open our file, which we called file.txt. Okay, so now that we have that open, now we need to go through it line by line. Uh, we're gonna create uh, two variables in here, uh, one that checks the line number and one that is the actual text from the line. So I'm gonna say four, and we'll just say x. We're gonna say line, so x comma line, in, and we're gonna say enumerate and then our object that we created, which is F, and give it a colon. So now we're gonna be reading through that line, that, that file, line by line. I, or X is going to be the line number, where line will be the text from that line. So now we're gonna say if X, equals equals so if x equals we'll say three colon what are we going to do well in this case we'll print the line we'll print line so that'd be the text from the line so you might be thinking we're going to print line three uh, let's have a look at that but we want to remember to close our file so f dot close And don't forget your parentheses there. We will save this. We will change it and make it executable. Oops. Only have to do that once. And then we will run our script dot slash, the name of our script. And it says line four. Now, why does it say line four? Because you have to remember that um, the way we're counting, let's open up our text file here. So we'll say file.txt. We've got line one, line two, line three. But you gotta remember that computers start counting from zero. Really, we all count from zero, we just don't always say it. So zero, one, two, three. And that's why we got line four there. So you can do two things. You can either remember that to take a number off the actual line that you want or put it into your code to subtract one from i each time before you check the if statement. Um, but let's go back into our code here and add a little bit to it. We're going to say, in this case, if three, which would be the line four. We can also say elif x equals two. In this case, we're printing the line. You can also do other things when it finds that line, but in most cases for what we're looking at, you're actually looking to print those particular lines. We'll save that. We'll now run our code again, and this time we got line three, line four, um, and that's how you can go through a file and indicate what lines you want to print. Um, it doesn't really matter what number you put the order. It'd probably be more appropriate to go numeric order this way, to go two, then three, but our script is going to check it each time anyway. Uh, so 
if it doesn't see three, it's going to go to the next thing, which would be two. So it doesn't really matter the order. Um, it's still going to print them in the order that they are in the text file. So you can do as many of those as you want. And you can see three, four, and five. Um, so it doesn't matter the order of the if then statement or if else statement because um, it's still reading through the file in the correct order. It might be a little more appropriate to put the lines in that in the order in the code just to make it easier to read. So very basic, very simple little look at this. Um, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description of this video if you're not already watching it on my site. Also, uh, visit me on Facebook. I have a Facebook fan page. Link to that in the description of this video as well. Also, you can check out my Twitter account. If you go to filmsbychris.com, there's a little uh, toolbar of that on the side there. Uh, and if you enjoy my tutorials, my videos, and you want to see more, uh, think about making a donation to my site. There is a donate button on my site. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.